I'm just one fine babe. Do, do you know what I mean? I'm just one fine babe, okay? I'm just here to remind you girls who the F I am, okay? <laughs> I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking. I love you guys, okay? I love you. Okay. <laughs> Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shanna. So today, today I'm sitting down, all right? Which means we are gonna do a makeup video. Like makeup video, okay? So excuse the bags under my eyes, all right? Your girl just woke up. Uh, oh my god. This side of my face was a bit weird. But anyways, excuse the bags under my eyes. Your girl just woke up. I've been trying to film this video for the longest, like all the clips on my shop. Even last night after my 13 hour shift, okay, I sat down and tried to record it. And here's the little clip, like the, it wasn't looking great. It wasn't looking great. I'm still trying to figure out my um, settings on the camera with this house and stuff like the lighting if i like it or not but right now it's 9 30 i need to do this video before my daughter gets home and yeah so grab your coffee which i do have and i'm going to show you guys my new updated dark skin friendly foundation routine inexpensive and yeah, using Le Mercier, uh, the perfect cream multi functional moisturizer. All right, that's what I used. All right, I love it, it works fine. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some Le Mercier um, translucent powder on my face, and this is gonna help your foundation last longer. And you get less oil but you still have your radiant look if you get what I mean I'm just using a puffy brush and I'm spreading it out evenly on my skin so I'm going to use these two foundation here these are like my go-to my go-to like when I'm filming content I like using these because I can't be using my bougie stuff, alright? So this is the Le Mercier Tinted Moisturiser and can't stop, won't stop. The reason why I get I use this is because it gives me full coverage and the colour in it I do like. I literally just put a tiny bit. So I've got on like the foundation. I don't like doing too much foundation. Then it just gives you that cakey look. So I just put a little bit of that. And now I'm using the Laura Mercier. All the colours are going to be down below. The Laura Mercier one gives me more of a neutral look. And I like it to like blend with my neck a little bit. My neck is like one of the darkest annoying part of my like you know so i'm just gonna take a brush and dab and i got this brush from amazon by the way so i'll put the link down below to the exact set that i got and i love these brushes they're so like affordable and it does the job so the technique for this is you just want to be dabbing like just dab the foundation in and this is going to give you a full coverage and less is more mm, i like it can you guys see how smooth and flawless that looks excuse my eyes my eyes be a bit a little bit red and puffy right now like i said it's morning happy sunday guys i want to try and get this video up today all right because it's sunday <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna quickly do this side and I'll be right back. And there you have it, lovely and chocolate and flawless, all right? I haven't done this one of these videos in a long time and I'm a bit rusty. Okay, so put your seatbelt on. Let's go for a ride. 
cream blush is not for 20 is it, it didn't start 2020 2019 or 2021 cream blush <laughs> cream blush started from our mom's age like that's when cream blush was popping because I, I, <laughs> I used to see my mom using lipstick on her cheeks so i'm like woman what are you doing okay but now what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing we're touching lip glosses where you we we've got products that says cream blush like trends are back on <laughs> so i jumped on the trend and i've been using these two lip glosses from jv's place okay so i literally just oh this light on my eyes <sighs> Literally just look like, even that's too much. And Shanna Lux is working on something, child, okay? We working on something, so keep a look out. But, um, so I'm going to use the brown one. This one is just to, like, deem the red, the orange a little bit. Alright. This fly is getting on my tits. I was taking this fluffy brush. This is very old. This is like one of my oldest brush that I still have. So I'm just going to buff that out into my skin. And you don't want to bring it too far low because you want to make your face like slimmer than ever. Okay. So this one I'm going in circular emotion. So circular motion not emotion motion child it's morning all right use my pepper grains i forgot to gel them down so just deal with it <laughs> can you guys see the color it's giving it's giving okay so the rest of the products i just like to bring it up here okay i'm not too sure if you guys can see how warm my face looks highlight highlight <laughs> so i like to combine this foundation because i still haven't found like the perfect concealer yet so i'm using huda beauty hot fudge this is their new flawless is it flawless filter like this is a new foundation basically i feel like this one it's a little bit lighter than the old shade i don't know but i'm going to also mix it with chestnut and take your damp beauty blender Ooh. this is where my eyes start looking funny okay so don't judge me <laughs> makeup makes you do like the most you're gonna get into that nose And I like to bring it out. Guys, this light is just blinding me. <laughs> I don't think it's my contact lenses no more. But I need to get used to it now. At this point, you can stop here and apply your powder. But your girl likes to be extra, okay? An extra should be my surname or my middle name. Like... My parents should have given me extra as my middle name, alright? Mum, if you're watching, go ahead and change my name, please. So, I don't like bringing my, my concealer all the way down. The only part I bring it down is my nose, because I still like that nose contour highlight. Whatever. But it's cute. I don't really like bringing it down before. Go watch my old videos, or bring my highlight all the way down here, like... Is. I'm taking chestnut by LA girl guys you, you guys need to come shopping with me I need to do makeup shopping I'm doing makeup shopping on Tuesday for my makeup kit and myself because I need to treat myself as well so Oxford Street here I come 
Alright. Was I even recording? Okay, I'll blend this one to you, with you guys because I'm not sure if I was recording. But anyway, just dab. You want to spread that evenly. And I like to bring it all the way up. Still bring it down my nose. Make sure you blend, guys. You want to blend this in because when you put on your powder, you want it to look cute, okay? Oh, this is just looking... This is just looking... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm in love with my skin this morning. I need to take pictures, okay? I'm just taking that brush, bringing it down the middle. Always go back with your foundation brush and just dab around just to make it blend and seamless, okay? Another technique I like to use is Studio Fix Press Powder. I love this. This one is in the shade NC55. I need to get a new one. I'm not going to open it so you guys can see. I'm sorry. It's just going to go everywhere. You can take a sponge, but I'll use my brush for this one and I'll just press underneath my eyes you guys don't sleep on studio fix like I know we haven't used it in a long time but don't sleep on it add it to your makeup routine add it it gives your skin that oh can you guys see can you Put the rain in. Yeah. And then can you guys see how smooth and flawless that looks? Like this is smooth. Um, I don't put too much of this because we already have like a smooth. So I like to use my beauty blender. It's still the same beauty blender. Don't over damp your beauty blender, yeah? Don't do it, don't do it too much. But just damp. So I'm trying to focus it just up, not too low. My skin is just giving me oh is that Sunday morning joy man? God's like child, your skin's gonna be on point today. Is that you spoke to me? I'm going to show you. This is what he's doing for me right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right, that's a bit of a messy one, but we keep it moving. You can bake, or you don't have to bake. I sound like Boris Johnson. You can bake, or you don't have to bake. You can go outside, you can go to work, or you don't have to go to work. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways um, I don't really want to bake, so we're just going to press this in. We want to set, we want to set our cream, blush, bronzer, whatever you want to call it. We're going to set that and I'm going to be using, excuse this brush, this next brush is very day. <laughs> so I'm going to be using Juvia's Place bronzer in shade deep and I'll be using this one right here. Okay. And then I'll work my way up to using a darker one. Mm. And what you want to do is, I'm bringing mine upwards, not down. We're going up, okay? Because we want to lift that face. You want to lift it. So bring it up towards your hairline, right? And then just put the rest on your forehead. The next colour is this one here. Just a little bit, just to deepen the colour a bit. Just to deepen it a bit, so. I want to bring that one slightly lower. For blush, use an eyeshadow, a matte 
eyeshadow you don't have to go out there to buy a blush okay if you have a little orange a little brown whatever it is use it so i'm using brown melanin makeup palette i really like this orange it looks good it looks good on my skin so i'm going to use this orange right here hope you guys can see the true color and i'm going to use that as a blush all right a little bit of this goes a long way all right now that's done i'm actually showing you guys all my tricks anyways so i'm going back with that bronzer and we are going to contour and i like to bring it up my brows just focus in the middle it doesn't mind if you put it right like right in the middle because i'll show you guys what to do next you take your concealer you're just gonna do is this chestnut yeah you're just gonna do a dot two dots or one okay you can either take a thin brush or you take your finger which i love doing and I'm just going to smooth it down. There you have it. Okay, so this next step, we are going to cut our cheekbones, okay? We are going to cut it. Alright? So you can use a powder that's close to your shade, close to your skin tone. And yeah, some people like using the yellow powder i don't i like using a color that's close to my skin tone okay and just cut just to define that okay this color is a bit bright i'm gonna dim that down with my foundation brush pick the wrong color from the palette but it's all right Okay, I'm just going back with my foundation brush just to make sure it's not too too light. The next thing I like to do is just a little bit of contour. I like the the purple from this because my skin is very like is juicy dark, okay? It's juicy. And certain browns don't look appealing to me, okay? So, I go with this dark purple shade. This is from the Melissa Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to do a light contour. Just like, just to define my cheekbones a little bit. Can you guys see that? Mmm! Okay, so let's do here, then we'll go on to the next. So I'm brushing it up so that it meets all of that. And I don't bring it all the way down. I don't bring it all the way down. Just stop it right there. I'm brushing it up. Mm. Alright, what, what, what do you guys think of that? Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Because I love it, okay? I love it. I love it. And the next thing, ladies, the next thing, okay? The next thing, you do not want to walk out the house without your Chanelux setting spray, honey. Chanelux is doing it. Oh, <laughs> don't drop it. Don't drop it. So basically, it's out of stock. I'm sorry, it's out of stock. But when it comes back in stock, I will let you guys know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna spray this on my face. Mm. So sometimes I go with my beauty blender and just dab certain areas sometimes I don't oh oh it's giving 
it is given okay don't can you guys see all right so i want to go off and do my eyes and i'll be right back and show you guys the finished look okay stay tuned just like just let's just take in all of this melanin all of this chocolate i just feel like this light this camera is not giving me it's not doing it for me yet. okay so i did my eyes did my lips put on a little shimmer highlight off camera i hope you guys did enjoy this look well this updated foundation routine i hope you guys find it helpful and you had fun with me i'm loving it okay i'm loving it and happy sunday guys do not forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl there'll be more videos we i'm definitely gonna be doing more videos and a video on this eyeshadow should be up this week coming and yeah happy sunday do enjoy yourself praise the lord all right and yeah stay tuned for my next video <laughs> Oh, oh.